Hi, it's Terry Vanover with Choosing to Rise, and I'm a life coach, and I work with those that are impacted by divorce. So if you're just beginning the process of your divorce, now's a good time to reach out to me because I can help you make sure that you're making the best decisions for your future self. If you're a step parent and you are struggling with blending your families together, you're struggling as a parent, I can help you with those co-parenting education. Or if you've been divorced for quite some time, but you find that you are struggling with anger or bitterness and you want to overcome that and reach your full potential, reach out to me because that's what I'm here for. And so I provide one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as small group coaching starting next month. And during this individualized and small group coaching, I provide clarity strategies to help you reach your goals, to overcome whatever it is that's sabotaging you from reaching your goals. We find your strengths and use those strengths to fulfill whatever goals that you have in your life. And we're going to develop clear and compelling goals so that you can reach what it is that you want in your life, whether it's in your career, whether it's Personally, you've got some feelings you want to let go, some bitterness, some anger. Maybe it's stress. Maybe you want to develop some strategies for overcoming the stress that comes along with being a step parent and blending those families together. And how do you deal with a high conflict biological parent? Those are all things that I can help you with. So reach out to me if you're tired of the same old, same old, and you're ready for a change, you can find me at terryvanover at comcast.net or choosingtorise.com because I'm on a mission to help you use your setbacks to ignite your passion to reach whatever dreams you have. And tonight we're going to be talking about, are you ready to date? Are you ready to date? We're going to look at three tips that are going to help you Decide if you're ready to dip your toes back into the dating scene. So, you know, there, there really is no set time. What's right for one person might not be right for another. Whether the time is right for one may not work for all. Although many therapists do say to take your time, take about nine to 12 months to really reconnect with yourself and heal and learn about yourself. You don't want to jump right from one relationship into another because you want to take some time and reflect and journal and figure out what it is that you want in your next relationship if you want a new relationship. Some people decide, hey, you know what, I just want to take a long time for me. Maybe you were in a marriage for a very long time and you want some me time. And that's okay, too. There's nothing wrong that says you have to jump into the dating scene. But I'm going to give you some tips. So some people say 9 to 12 months. For me, it was, it was less than that. But I did take time during that time to really just cut everything out and really focus on myself and heal and deal with my issues. Because I had some, some serious childhood traumas that I really had not dealt with and I brought those into my marriage and it destroyed my marriage and it destroyed who I was and I made some pretty horrific choices. So I think it's important that you take time to heal and grow and reflect and learn where you went wrong and deal with some of the things that you you did wrong in the marriage because we all bring we all have a responsibility in our marriages and maybe there were some areas in your marriage where you could have stepped it up a little bit and some areas where you should have said hey I need some healthier boundaries right so look at what you really really need in your next relationship before jumping into a new relationship so that that's the number one thing to remember is take time to heal take time to reflect and do an autopsy on your marriage and figure out you know, where could I have, have been a better partner? What could I have done better in my marriage so that you're bringing your best self to the next relationship? So, so the first thing that you need to think about if you are ready to date is to think about what it is that you want, what it is you don't want, and what are your deal breakers in the next partner? 
So you want to take some time first, learn about you, make it all about you for a while, do some me time, figure out what you like, especially if you've kind of lost that part of yourself, then figure out what is it you want in a new partner? What are some of your deal breakers? And it shouldn't be an all or nothing kind of a thing like, I don't want anyone just like my partner, because that goes into step number two or tip number two, which is you should feel pretty neutral about your partner. All that angerness, all that bitterness, you're still not pining for your partner, you're still not in love, you're still not thinking about them, you should be pretty neutral for the most part. You know, I know there's going to be hiccups along the way, but for the most part, you're pretty neutral. You've let all that anger go, you found forgiveness, and you moved forward. So think about those aspects in your previous partner that, that you did admire, those things that you really felt oh, yeah, I want that again in, in, in my partnership, in my next partnership. And think about those things that are deal breakers for you that you don't want, um, that maybe you didn't have in your last relationship that, that you think that you'd want to bring into your next relationship. And think about the same thing for you. What are you going to bring in this relationship? And thirdly, you should be a little excited about getting into the dating scene again. If you are just terrified and you get on uh, match.com or pof.com and you, oh, you're, you're pretty scared, maybe you need to take a little more time. If that, if that process frightens you, it might be time to like take a step back. And just say, you know, maybe I'm not ready. I look, checked it out, but I'm not ready. I'm, I'm too sick. But if you're excited, like, oh, I might meet a potential partner. Again, when you're dating, <laughs> it's okay if you just develop a friendship. And that's okay. And that's how you should go into it. Looking like, hey, I'm going to meet someone new. And don't be afraid to explore with a new partner what it is that you want. So maybe you'll go out with someone that typically before you didn't go out with. Maybe they weren't your type before. So maybe you should take a little time and, and explore what it's like to go out with someone who may be a different type than you've gone out in the past because it'll teach you some things about yourself. It'll teach you, hey, maybe I was too close-minded about this type of person and maybe I should explore my options and open up who I'm, I'm willing to become friends with and potentially uh, a partner with. So if you're excited about getting on that that dating site or you're excited to go to a meeting and and have a have a meeting with a, a new person, that, that's great. Then, then you're ready. And look at that new person as a potential friend. Don't bring all that baggage of like, is this marriage material? Because sometimes the best relationships, they start out as friendships. So look at going and meeting someone as like, hey. Let's look at it as like a friendship. Don't put a lot of pressure on that person. Don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. That's that's how my husband and I started out. We actually started out as friends. So because we were such good friends, we developed great communication. And it just built a really, really solid foundation for our future together because we were friends first. So we were very honest, authentic. There was no pretenses. So it made for a really great foundation in our relationship. So those are our three tips. Be excited about going out and meeting someone new. Know what you want. Know what you want in a potential mate and what you don't want and what your deal breakers are, but especially know who you are. And thirdly, uh, you should be pretty neutral about your ex. So think about those things before you go out there and you start hitting the dating scene. And if you're ready to date or you think you're ready to date, but you need some additional support, maybe you want to build your self-confidence and your self-esteem is still taking a hit from the divorce and you want to date, it's, you know, reach out to me. I'd be happy to talk about how we can create some goals for you and how we can uncover what might be sabotaging you from developing that self-confidence and, and getting to you to where you want to be and being the fullest potential greatest person that you bring into a partnership because that's that's what I'm here for so please reach out to me at Terry Vanover at Comcast.net or you can find me at chooseintorise.com for a free ebook seven tips for surviving divorce I'd love to share that with you 
So great talking with you and Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So if you are going on a date, good luck. I'll cross my fingers for you. And in the meantime, reach out to me if you need anything. All right. Thank you.